Hi, thank you for being here today too. We have uh, another step in our meditations uh, uh, for in preparation for the feast of Saint Anthony. The theme today is Anthony, comforter of the afflicted. We are now inside the chapel of the Black Madonna, so called because of uh, her dark hair. Saint Anthony preached all during Lent 1231, every day, every day preaching, and at the end, after Easter, he felt very, very sick. So his superior sent him to Campo San Piero, a little village at about 20 kilometers from Padua. They wanted him to recover. But one day Saint Anthony was going to the refectory and suddenly he felt uh, he was going to die, he fainted, and so he asked his friars, his brothers, to take him back to Padua because he wanted to die in Padua and uh, so they put him on a cart pulled by oxen and they tried to reach the town but unfortunately Anthony died a few kilometers before arriving in Padua he died in Arcella but then they buried him where he wanted to be buried, in a, little, in a little church outside the walls of Padua, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, Mater Domini, Mother of God. And the little church is this one. They started to build the basilica all around this little church. So this is the heart of the basilica. Anthony recognized that life is a rough journey, full of difficulties and obstacles from birth to death. Nevertheless, no human being, no person makes the journey of life alone. The Holy Spirit is with each one of us, always. And so in one of his sermons, he writes, The Spirit is given on earth so that the neighbor may be loved and is given from heaven so that God may be loved. Saint Anthony really knew what uh, it means to suffer. When uh, they opened Saint Anthony's tomb in 1981, the pathologist found that uh, he actually died of dropsy, which means that he had difficulties in getting rid of liquids. So you can imagine how hard it must have been when they pulled him on uh, that uh, uh, cart uh, from uh, Campo San Piero to Padua. But uh, apart from that, uh, he also suffered from malnutrition and uh, he, he had a lot of pain. But St. Anthony also suffered spiritually. He was tormented by the forces of evil and uh, since he was always fighting for the poor, the needy, the marginalized, they also tried to kill him. That's why Anthony is always interesting in uh, helping people, is always interceding for those who suffer both physically and spiritually. And so we pray, dear St. Anthony, you recognize our Lord Jesus as the divine healer. You know that we are afflicted physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Please pray that the Lord Jesus may grant us healing through your intercession. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you for being with us today, and I hope to see you tomorrow for our next meditation. In the meanwhile, peace and all good.